Terminal services allow you to add custom movements to containers and general cargo without changing the cargo location. Recording service movements allows more flexibility to perform specialized movements or create customized billable service events. To access your organization's services, click Admin in the main menu. Scroll down in the menu panel and click Services. If you do not see this option, the terminal services permissions may not be enabled for your role. Contact the admin user on your team to gain access. Any existing services will be listed here. Click Edit next to a service to make changes to the service name or description. On the Services Index page, click the New button to create a new service. Enter an accurate name and description. The name will be listed as the recorded movement in Octopi, as well as on the invoice line item if this service is configured as a billable event. When finished, click Save. Let's apply a service to a container. Click Cargo in the main menu and select Containers. Locate and click the container in the index, then scroll down and click the Add Service button. Select the service from the dropdown and then click Apply Service. A message will confirm the service was applied, and you can scroll down to the Movement section. Here you will see a new movement is added as a terminal service, with the service name listed below the movement type. Notice that the cargo location does not change. An important benefit of the terminal services feature is the ability to charge for services. To generate invoices for services, you will need to configure a service tariff. Click Invoicing in the main menu, and then select Tariffs. To create a new tariff, click the New Tariff button. Fill in the details in the New Tariff form to specify how and when the new tariff will be applied. Your tariffs will be configured based on your organization's billing requirements and accounting system, which may not match this example. Enter a unique name and description. This name will also appear on the generated invoice. If your accounting configuration requires it, be sure to enter the General Ledger ID for this tariff. Select Service in the Event Type drop-down menu. A Service drop-down menu will then appear, where you can select the service that this tariff applies to. Services can only be charged by a flat fee at this time. Select Flat Fee in the Build by drop-down menu. Services can also only be billed per move or event at this time. Select either Event or Move in the Build per drop-down menu. Then set the price, the minimum charge, and the customer type to which this tariff will apply. Fill in any of the other fields or filters that apply for your own configuration or accounting system. When finished, click Save. Now let's apply this service to General Cargo. Click Cargo in the main menu and select General Cargo. You can apply a service to an individual cargo item the same way that you did with a container. Or, if multiple pieces of cargo or containers have the same service applied, it can be applied in bulk. Let's filter the results for the consignee who will be charged for this service. Click the checkboxes next to each item that will have the service applied to it. Then scroll down to the Batch Actions section and click Apply Service. Select the service in the drop-down menu and click Apply Service. The movements will be added to the cargo records and an invoice will be generated for each service. Click Invoicing in the main menu and select Invoices to view the newly generated invoices. You can find more guides and videos like this one on our knowledge base. And if you have any other questions, please contact our customer success team. We're always here to help.